Hello and welcome to the second video about chapter 6. In the previous video we crossed the present value and how to calculate the present value. Uh, you really need to understand the theory behind uh, present value otherwise this uh, video about decision trees uh, will be, uh, could be very complicated to you. Um, we use decision trees for uh, many different uh, decisions, decisions taken by uh, the management of uh, warehouses. Um, one of those uh, questions could be, should the firm sign a long-term contract for warehousing space to get sp or get space from the spot market as needed? The second one could be, what should the firm's mix of long-term and spot market be in the portfolio of transportation capacity and the third uh, possible uh, decision that you could answer with decision trees are how much capacity should various facilities have and what fraction of this capacity should be flexible. Uh, in decisions trees, it is um, important that it is uh, network design decisions because they are hard uh, to change in the short term. So you have to uh, you have to cope for that, and decision trees does. Decision trees are a graphic device used to evaluate decisions under uncertainty. And uh, this last part, under uncertainty, is very important in decision trees because you do not know what uh, your revenue will do in, in a couple of years and nor you, will you know what the uh, cost of, um, of warehouses will be. And decision trees help you with that. So uncertainty is a very important part in using decision trees. When you want to use uh, the decision tree morphology, you need these six um, uh, variables and those start with the periods, uh, the factors of uh, uh, and the fluctuation in those factors, uh, representation, of course the discount rate for the present value, and um, you have to work back to period uh, number zero. In this example, we evaluate three uh, lease options. The uh, first uh, option is get all warehousing space from the spot market. The second one is sign a three year lease or a, for a fixed amount of warehousing space and get additional requirements on the spot market. The last one is sign flexible lease with a minimum charge that allows variable usage of warehouse space up to a limit with additional uh, requirement from the spot market. In this video we're going to um, uh, evaluate the first option. In later videos we evaluate option 2 and option 3. In this example we got an, um, uh, uh, we got a uh, distributor, Trips Logistics, and Trips Logistics have, has a uh, current demand of 100,000 units a year. Uh, 100,000 units a year represent 100 square, 100,000 square feet of uh, warehouse. The uh, demand is. Um, is uncertain and can go up by 20% with the probability of 0.5 of 50% and can go down by 20% by um, uh, with the probability of also 50%. The lease price is one dollar but that's not important in this option. The spot uh, market price is the price we're going to use for our calculations right now. And the spot market price can uh, go up by 10% with a 0.5 probability, with 50% probability, and down with 
also with uh, 5% of 50% uh, of probability. Um, the revenue in all years, so year 0, year 1 and year 2, is 1.22 um, uh, dollars. The discount rate we use is uh, 0.1 or 10%. Uh, When we put it, this all into a graph, we see the decision tree. Do you see the decision tree for uh, year number one? It's over here. Oh, sorry. Uh, for period uh, zero, you see it here for period one and for period two. As we said, the uh, probability is 50% that the uh, demand rises from 100,000 to uh, 120,000. That's what you see here. 0.25 plus 0.25 makes uh, 50%. And it is um, in the price on the spot market could rise by 10%. That's what you see here. It's one, 10 times 1.1 is this one. So that's how we end up with, um, with, that, uh, um, uh, with that figure. Um, in the second one, the demand is also 120 and the price is um, uh, 1.08 and that is calculated with 110 divided by 1.1 1 .1. um, because the probability was 50% that it could uh, get higher and it was 50% that it could get lower the price on the stock market. Um, the probability was 20% uh, that the demand rise, uh, as you see here, 120 is 100 times 1.2 is 120. As it was also the case with demand going down. That was 100. Mm -mm -mm -mm. No, let's do it different. Times zero 08. Is 80%. Eight Is 80,000. Uh, that's how we end up. This is all in period one. In uh, period two, we use this same, um, uh, these same measures, these same figures, and we calculate them for here, 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 and for the last option. We use the same calculation uh, the same calculations as we did in period one. Let's continue. Um, to analyze the option for not signing a lease and using the spot market, that is the option we're currently using. Um, what we do is we start with uh, period two, and we bring all the uh, we bring all the figures back. So let's clear this all out. Stop. There a bit. So what we do? We start with period two. We then go to period one. And then we go to period zero. In uh, decision tree, works 
um, from the basic very simple. What you do is you calculate the revenue from every option and you carry it back through the years. So you calculate what the revenue would be if demand is 144,000. Uh, please recall the uh, revenue was uh, 1.22 and the price on the spot market is 145 times 144,000 because that's the amount of square feet needed. So what you do is you carry this one, this one, this one, all the way down. But all those revenues are in two years from now, because this is current. So you have, to, um, you have to bring them down. And you do that in this way, that you um, take the revenue and that revenue goes through 1 plus k. In this case, 1 plus k. Zero, one. And uh, you do that for all the for all the uh, results you calculated in uh, period two. So here in uh, so that's what we're going to do now.